clothing, I think, to get it to get it right, you the sizing right, you've got to think about who your who your customer is and work work on a, a tailor's dummy that is that size and to fabricate to that size, um, and then your clothes will fit when they go into the market. Um, but if you if you fabricate your clothes on your best friend and she's skinny and your market is not skinny, then you're not going to sell. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You've got to think who your end user is going to be when you're designing and sizing. You simply cannot take a skinny style and size it up to a, to a 16 or an 18. It's got to be conceived for that shape. Gender and size is, is only one aspect of, of the design equation for, to, to, for your market. I sell Comme des Garçons in this shop and I have to say that the Japanese are slimmer than the British. So they, they, it would be good if there was an international sizing um, of, the, of the clothes, but, but there's not. So I've got to cope with that and large people just on, on the whole can't get into them. The way I counterbalance not having clothes to not having clothes to suit larger people is by balancing Margaret Hill against Comme des Garçons. Margaret Howe is a generous, generous fitting and conceived around the, the British shape. Um, it's a company of the same longevity as Comedy Garson, but um, just more generosity. Um, uh, so that th th these things are so important. If, people are, if, if, if garments are going to actually sell, they've got to fit and they've got to enhance, they've got to make people look good. The Kirsten Stewart customer is an independent woman. She can live um, in the city, London-based, Paris-based, or in the country. I design for real women. I design real clothes that are comfortable. It's the surface print that does the talking. The pieces are fairly simple, but they're, they're really for somebody that loves colour and print. It's real people that come and buy my hats, and it's real people that I like dealing with. And yes, I've had hats on royalty and pop stars, but to be honest, it's if I, I drove by somebody in a bus and they were wearing my earmuffs one day, and it was just the most amazing feeling in the whole world. It was, it was wonderful. And just to know that somebody had paid money for something that I had made on my own, you know, and made in Scotland, and she was proud enough to, to wear this. And, um, and it's just the best feeling in the world. And I, I, I think that my customers are all different. It, it, my customers like well-made, quirky hats for all different occasions. I would say my product would sit in the sort of mid to sort of high end. I wouldn't really sort of say that we were couture. Um, I'd say that we're sort of at that kind of just above the high street sort of entry level. Our prices sort of start from, you know, £65 right up to, you know, £200 for a coat or something. So we, uh, for me, I do find that we are quite accessible um, and we are affordable. And that's something that's quite important to my brand is that I want to be able to design something that's really contemporary, really modern and fresh, but not have, you know, the huge £1,000 price tag attached to a garment. That's just something for me that maybe, you know, later on I might, have, you know, do a range that is more sort of quite high end and quite couture, but not, not at the moment. The reason I quite like sort of being into that sort of entry level is for me, again, I just find it important. I want to be able to, you know, I want people to go out and buy my clothes and sort of have the enjoyment of wearing them and wearing something that's, um, you know, sort of new and fresh and that you won't necessarily get, you know, in your top shops or your pre-marks or your whatever, you know, I want people to sort of be able to, I think with our brand anyway, that we have quite a signature style. So that, for me, it excites me when people put on a garment and they can tell that it's sort of a Couture's garment or, you know, so for me, that's, that's sort of why I kind of like to be quite accessible. Mm -hmm.